Welcome to The Hollywood Times Live. Hi, I'm Jason Thompson for The Hollywood Times and it's Oscars night again, the 96th Academy Awards. And I'm up here at the Hilton Hotel at Universal City for the luxury gala dinner and viewing party. And I'm on the red carpet, so let's go take a look. You look beautiful today. What's, Thank you. Tell I us about your dress. Well, this is Parisian Haute Couture Ooh. by Eddie Kors Couture in Paris, France. And my stylist there is Cindy Darfus from um, Los Angelina in Paris. She's actually originally from LA. Wow. And so I feel very, very honored to be decked out as some Paris Haute Couture today. I love it. It looks beautiful. Have better leaders, leaders with integrity, leaders who can really rise up and help us shift the planet and bring us together on this world. Absolutely, I love that. That's fantastic. Oh, thank you. She's a, she's a star with a conscience. I'm just a little bit of a conscience. I meditate every day. Well, there is a bit of a crisis in consciousness on the planet. Well, so there really is. There really is. And imagine if we had a world where everybody realized that there is no. I'm better than you, but if we work together and all of us shine, nobody needs to have power over another human being. We can all win without sacrificing for the other. How are you? I'm great. It's How can you not be great? It's Oscar Sunday, right? Well, it's an exciting night, and you are looking absolutely beautiful. I love the, the little clutch bag. Well, this bag is Catherine Bauman did that, and Catherine Hines did my gown. She makes a lot of uh, Miami dresses. And it's absolutely beautiful and it really suits you that the fuchsia is your color. Oh, thank you. Do you like fuchsia? I do. It's, you know, anything that's bright or blingy makes me feel good. I would love it if Bradley won. Yes, I think so. Yeah. All that long that time to do all that makeup. Yeah. You should win an award just no, for doing I, that. I, I think he did an amazing job. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a wonderful actor. He's, he's showing a different side of himself in this movie, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. He's a true artist. Well, thank you very much thank for you. joining us on the red carpet, and you have a great night and happy Oscars. Thank you. you too. Well, you look stunning tonight. Thank you so much. So do you. You look. Well, there you have it. <laughs> so, are you excited about being here tonight? I'm so excited about being here tonight. It's always nice to have a reason to get dressed up. There's always a reason for the Oscars. Now, tell us quickly, who's your pick for the best movie? Oh my God, I don't know. There's so many great ones. Uh, there's a list of them there in case yeah. you forget. Actually, you know what? For the sake Killers of, of the Flower Moon. Moon. And I'm so sorry about all the men out there because I love men. I love them so much. But I'm going to say Barbie just because I'm like about woman power. I love you though. I really love you. <laughs> I love you men. I've got a, I've got a Ken hairdo. Really? Yeah. You, you look like a Barbie. I'm just saying. A Barbie? You can see that. You guys, do you see this? Actually? A Barbie? He is excellent. <laughs> You're funny. I've never been called Barbie before. Maybe maybe a Ken, but not a Barbie. Do you hear this accent? Yes, please. Can I take it home and wrap it up? You can take me home and wrap it up. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to us and enjoy the Oscars. Lily is an excellent company with many first-time acting nominees tonight, including Emily Blunt, Jeffrey Wright, Sterling K. So I always come because I love her and she's very kind and generous and she really puts on a lovely event and so I'm so happy that so many people came to participate. Well you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you my Look brother. at that Thank dress. You. Thank you. Thank Are you excited you. and what's your best pick for tonight's movie? Uh, well I'm sure it's going to be Oppenheimer for sure. Oh uh, yes. So, uh, a lot of people are going with that one. Well it's you know what I just think it's it's just eye opening. I don't I mean the whole Anyway, you know, it was a terrible time. It's kind of like, uh-oh. Now we're going, uh-oh, a lot. So it's crazy. There's a and, lot. It's an interesting year this year, isn't it? Well, it is. And I, it's, I think there are some people that got caught up in, oh, everybody else being, oh, like this. And um, there are some people that are being overlooked. So, but, um, 
their stars and they'll be working something else and they'll be brilliant again as they always are so it's great well thank you very much for talking to us and uh, happy oscars night you look absolutely beautiful thank and you very thank much thank you for coming thank you Douglas, how are you, Douglas? You're looking. I'm doing awesome. You're looking sharp. Hey, look, we both got shiny shoes. <laughs> look at that. The camera's not that low. The camera to take a peek. Well, uh, you're not going to see, but believe us, <laughs> we've got shiny shoes. Now, I saw you last year. How are you right. going? Oh, it's been so busy. It's been nonstop for me the last year. I've been really blessed this year. And I heard you've been uh, traveling all around the world, even I the have. UK. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'll be going back to the UK again. Uh, June 3rd, I start. But uh, this last year, I've done two movies in the UK. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a regular there, it seems, right? Oh, my God. You know, they love me. King Charles, will, uh, he might oh my, invite you to Buckingham Palace. Palace. Well, wouldn't that be fun, right? <laughs> well, the most exciting thing here, the most exciting yeah. being here at the Oscars. That would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> a little bit of tea, right? So, listen, Douglas, who would be your best pick for the best movie tonight? Wow, you know, I, I think that wow. it's such a hard call because there are some great movies, and the reality is, is anybody that's nominated is already a winner. But I personally am a big fan of Killers of the Flower Moon. That's my incredible choice. Movie. That's my choice. Incredible. And what do you think of uh, Bradley Cooper? Do you think he'll get uh, Best Actor? You know what? I, I think he certainly deserves something for that. Like, I mean, that was an incredible role that he did. And the prosthetics and the makeup alone, sitting, sorting that all out. You must know what that's like oh, being an actor. Sakes. That's, that's yeah. the hardest part of being an actor. Every day. A long day like that, right? So well, yeah. you, can, you can you can always learn your lines while they're doing it. And you well, might. you hope, you hope. You're definitely thinking of something for sure. Well, well that's my choice for tonight too. I think so. Right. Well, you're looking great. Congratulations and uh, happy Oscars! I guess, and it's so good to see you again. Hey, if you're if you're not yet, like and subscribe his show. Tune in. Lots of good stuff coming. I love this I'm guy. I'm a fan. Definitely, I'm a fan. So, hey, you got to do it. Hit like and subscribe. Cost you nothing, but it could change your life. I'm my only fan. <laughs> only fan? He's on OnlyFans, too. That's interesting. All right, yes. thank you very much. Thanks, Douglas. All the best. Awesome. Thank you. you Sir L. Toon from Cool and the Gang. Yes, sir. Are you feeling cool tonight on the 96th Academy Award? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's going to be a yeah hole of a time. <laughs> And it's going to be some wonderful winners, and even those that don't win, believe it or not, because of being nominated, it's just a, it, 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 it's, it, it's, it's more than most could ever dream of in their lifetime. So, but I'm glad to be here with Samaris Network, and as last year, it's, it gets better and better, and especially with those such as yourself at the helm. Thank you very much, Sir L. And um, I don't know, most people don't know that he was one of the writers of the songs Celebrate Good Times, come on! And you're famous. You just, well, you just sung my lyrics and my melody. And also keyboard player. Wow. I think most people know that song. It's a world famous song and most people play it at most of their events. You're looking very beautiful. Now, you guys are filmmakers, is that right? Yes, yes that's correct. indeed. We do feature films in different parts of the world. We just did one Egypt Affair and just came back from that one. It's a thriller on the Nile. Yeah. Fantastic. And also, the, three years ago, we did one in Brazil in the Amazon jungle called Amazon Queen. Wow. Yeah. And who's your best picture for tonight? Uh, Oppenheimer, for sure. That's an easy one, Oppenheimer. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's see. Well, thank you for talking to us, and all the best with your, your movies. Thank Thanks. you. Well, look who I'm with tonight. You're looking beautiful. It's yeah. Natasha. Now, you're... Well, look at that. You're, you're a beautiful-looking woman, nice and tall. And this is my friend, Adriana. Oh, right. And you're a, produ you're a producer? Yes, I'm a producer. Okay. And you're an actress, I believe. Yes, I am. Tell I've us a bit on, about that. I've been on TV shows like Entourage, True Blood, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Recently, I was on... Dave TV series uh, and many, many more. Wow, well, you both look beautiful. You, you look like you're both up to a bit of trouble tonight, you VIP people. Is that right? Uh, I'm trusting. You're an author, is that right? That is correct. I'm well, best selling. You're, you're best selling author. Now, you are looking beautiful tonight. Turn it, do a little 12, make a little love, get down tonight. 
So you're looking great. So you've got a best-selling book. Tell us quickly about that. Yes, it's called Radiant Achievement, and I teach people a new approach to how they can achieve their goals and dreams, but with grace and ease. And you're also um, starting a you're a producer, is that right? Yes, I will be launching a show called Radiant Romance: My Journey to True Love. It is my reality show of how I'm applying all the tools I teach to my own life and finding my true path. Well, fantastic. You look beautiful tonight, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Wow, look at this huge group here. They look fantastic, especially this guy at the back here. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look, ta-da, ta-da. Oh! <laughs> Get off my... Yeah, I was, I was like, oh! Get off my foot. <laughs> Tell us about you guys. Well, we're from, well, they're from Boston. I'm from Indianapolis. We're here with Three Corners of Deception movie. Here's the director right here, Dr. Malika Clary. I'm Will Garth, the cinematographer. A movie can be found on Amazon Prime. We have some of the actors and cast. We got Lance Lacone, the promoter, executive producer. A couple of, uh, these are also her daughters, her sister, her friend. We're all here. We're all big family. We are family. Wow. <laughs> Actress, all in the movie Three Quarters Inception. Hello, promoter Lance Lacone. Say hello. Hello. He's the godfather, right? I know. The godfather. <laughs> yes, he is. Well, congratulations and enjoy the night. Endearing character created by an actor who is always surprising. Christopher Nolan Oppenheimer. Nothing better describes you, sir, Mr. Bradley Cooper. Who wrote, directed, produced, and acted in his latest film, My Star. Well, I'm with Shamira. This is the woman who puts this whole event together. How are you going? Oh my God, this is amazing. A dream come true. We started so small, and then now the event is just amazing and huge. And people are around the world here from Japan, from China, from Russia, from England. So I'm just so excited to be here. And I love your energy and all that. Thank you for being a part of the Luxury Gala. Um, it's all about love. It's all about energy and so much more. It's fantastic. Well, you work hard all year on this event, so congratulations. Thank you very much for putting it together. And I hope you have a fantastic night. Fantastic. What do you guys do? Um, I'm an actress and I'm a writer. You're an actress and a writer. And, uh, and you? I am an actress, producer, and also a writer. But she's writing the next film that uh, a big uh, company is producing this year, SAS. So I would love to her to talk a little bit about that. Fantastic. Well, you look, you look great. And tell us quickly about it. Um, it is a project that I'm very excited about. Um, it is going to merge two different genres that don't usually go together, and I think it's going to be something people will enjoy. Yes. So, um, you're excited about what's your best picture for tonight? What's my best picture? Um, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Yes. And you? I think Oppenheimer is like a, a challenge, and it's something that i have never seen before, so I think Oppenheimer, in terms of production and, and story, is going to win this. Fantastic. It's very squashy here on the carpet here tonight. Thank you for coming and thank you for talking to us. Wow, these are vegan cakes, fish cakes. Tell us about that. You're the chef. So they are vegan made with artichokes, um, a lot of different flavors in there, made with a cashew and a chili aioli. And the name of your company? I'm Cocina Joanne Wizar and I'm also a sports nutritionist. Okay. You. You're looking very handsome, rich. You're looking pretty rich tonight, Rich. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and, and 
I'm lucky. I bought it once. I can wear it. It's evergreen, right? Well, you, men and a, a penguin. You look a lot alike. I look what? You look a lot alike with me. You well, do we get it in the same place? We're both in the penguin suits. That's exactly right. <laughs> well, you look very handsome tonight. And who's your best pitcher tonight? What do you? Th who do you think's going to win? Got to say, my best pitcher is Oppenheimer. I think Oppenheimer was just great. Everything about it, the writing was phenomenal. But I am going to say this: I just watched the holdovers, and Paul Giamatti in the holdovers was unbelievable. I haven't seen it yet, but. Um, I believe you. Thanks for coming and talking to us tonight and enjoy the Oscars. Well, I'm with Paul tonight and he's an impersonator. I'm also an impersonator, as you know, like you down do. Down Under, you, right? You're yes. from Down Under. You do I a lot of voices. Uh, about how many do, do you do? I do at least 40 anyways. 40? You do more than me. Now, <laughs> who's your best picture for tonight? Yeah, uh, best picture tonight, uh, it'll be Scorsese's for sure. For sure? For sure. Oh, well, thank you very much and thanks for coming and yeah, no have problem. a great do night. Me, do you want me to do one quick one for you? Go for it. Cr Christopher Lord. Einstein hit the time circuits on the new DeLorean. It's a long story, Marty. we got to go back to the future, future boy. Oh, wow, yeah, and you can do Homer Simpson, do him. How many times do you have to tell that boy Bart back to Winnipeg? <laughs> You're good. Thank you for coming. Thank you. you look beautiful. The designer and she's here tonight. Wow, now Catherine. You are an actress. Tell us all about that. I've been an actress and a performer all my life. Um, I've won Best Supporting Actress uh, for the role of Fran in Turnover, which is on Amazon Prime. And Martina Webster is one of the hosts tonight. She produced it. I'm also a producer, an activist. I'm an activist and advocate. So well, I'm you've got some also... A singer as well. Fantastic. And you've got some famous parents too, don't you? Well, yes, yeah, Stanley Kramer. We had 85 Oscar nominations all together with his films and 16 wins all together with his films and he won the Irving J. Falber Award, which is the highest you can get as a filmmaker. And my godmother is Catherine Hepburn, four-time Best Actress Oscar winner. Oh, I love Catherine Hepburn. And I'm named after her, and, uh, but she's, you know, Catherine Hepburn said, spell it. You will always be telling them, spell it with a name, because nobody gets it right. So she went by Cat, and um, so I'm Cat. Uh, my professional name is Cat Queen. Well, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. You are a picture of sartorial splendor. You are fantastic. All the designers behind the camera. Hello. Great job. Well, thank you for coming tonight, Catherine. And enjoy the 96th Academy Award. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, look at you. Isn't she looking gorgeous tonight? Now, you're a model. Where are you from? I'm from Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Well, you've come all this way over here for this event. Are you excited about tonight? Of course. Very a lot of people here and excited about meeting a lot of people. Well, you look absolutely gorgeous. Who designed your dress tonight? It's Kiki Wang here. Oh, you've got her with you. Look at you. You're great. Well, it looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is called a flower. You know, I just think the girls that look like a flower. I want to make them look like real flower. Do you feel like that? Yes, yeah, she looks like a beautiful flower. Well, thank you for coming. You look beautiful and enjoy the Oscars. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Legend, the legend. Well, I'm with Arthur tonight. Now, Arthur, you're an actor, is that right? Yeah, I am. Well, tell us about what you do. Well, right now I'm signed on with Dream Cinema Productions to do a movie called Death Round. It's a long story, Marty. It's a long story, Marty. It's a long Fantastic. Well, you look great tonight. Tell us what your best picture is. My best picture is probably the one of my mother. Um, yeah, what? that's my best picture. Of your mother? It's a joke. Uh, it's a joke. My favorite picture. There's, there's all the, um, you know. in front of, there's an idiot sheet there for you. Okay. Best picture. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you meant my best picture. <laughs> I'm your so, mother's your I'm, best I'm, picture? I'm, I'm, the picture of my mother. Okay, great. Yeah, well, it's are you still living with your mother? <laughs>
sorry. Um, my dress is broken. I think it happened during our just can. I'm pretty sure. Oh boy, this is really, this is really overwhelming. Sorry, I'm, mm, okay. And my voice is also a little gone. Whatever. Um, uh, the women on the stage, you are all incredible. And the women in this category. Uh, um, Sandra, Annette, Carrie, Lily, I share this with you. I am in awe of you. And it has been such an honor to do all this together. I hope we get to keep doing more together. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my God, I'm totally... Okay. Uh, the other night, I was panicking, as you can kind of see. Happens a lot. Um, that maybe something like this could happen. And, and Yorgos said to me, please take yourself out of it. And he was right, because it's not about me. It's about a team that came together to make something greater than the sum of its parts. And that is the best part about making movies, is all of us together. And I am so deeply honored to share this with every cast member, with every crew member, with every single person who poured their love and their care and their brilliance into the making of this film. And Yorgo, thank you for the gift of a lifetime in Bella Baxter. I'm forever thankful for you. Thank you for inviting all of us to be members of this team. Thank you. I know I have to wrap up, but I really just want to thank my family, my mom, my brother, Spencer, my dad, my husband, Dave. I love you so much. And most importantly, my daughter, who's going to be three in three days and has turned our lives technicolor. I love you bigger than the whole sky, my girl. So thank you so much. Don't look at the back of the head. Thomas, it's been the, the wildest, most exhilarating, most creatively satisfying journey you've taken me on over the last 20 years. I owe you more than I can say. Thank you so much. Every single crew member, every single cast member on Oppenheimer, you guys carried me through. Uh, all my fellow nominees, I remain in awe of you guys, truly. I want to thank my incredible team. Uh, big shout out to Craig Bankey, Brendan Murphy, <laughs> Brendan Murphy, Mary Murphy, Yvonne McGuinness, my partner in life and art. My two boys, Malachi and Aaron, were sitting up there. I love you so much. And I'm a very proud Irish man standing here tonight, so... <laughs> you know, we made a film... We made a film about the man who created the atomic bomb. And for better or for worse, we're all living in Oppenheimer's world. So I'd really like to dedicate this to the peacemakers everywhere. Here it comes. <laughs> and Maria is the Oppenheimer. Yes. Yes. And Thomas.
This was brought to you by The Hollywood Times and presented by yours truly, Jason Thompson. And we'd like to thank all the wonderful people involved at the Luxury Viewing Gala event. Happy Oscars.